Hi. It's a condition of shock before the next round of mass killings, atrocities begin in the Gaza-Israeli war. Already, nearly a thousand Palestinian civilians have perished beneath the rubble as the Israeli air force bombed Gaza. The Hamas attack in Israel left over a thousand dead, kidnapped or missing. Over a hundred have been taken hostage with a threat of execution. The shock from these events has reverberated worldwide. A previously internally fractured Israel society has now united behind the hard right Prime Minister Netanyahu, who has vowed total vengeance. Already Gaza is undergoing the equivalent of a medieval siege, with water, power, food cut off as it withstands bombardment over two million people trapped in what has been described as the world's biggest prison. This was undoubtedly Israel's 9-11. And like that cataclysmic event, the repercussions, instability will result in wider conflagrations with completely unknown outcomes. There is an extra ingredient to the genocidal mixture. Since the main Arab-Israeli wars, the spread of Islamic fundamentalism exemplified by the election of Hamas itself while in the occupied West Bank, fanatically religious Zionist settlers are socially cleansing Palestinians using violence and terror. All we can expect in the very near future, within weeks, is the Israeli invasion of Gaza. The resulting death toll of civilians could be astronomical. When this occurs, anti-Semitism will rear its ugly head on the streets of Europe, including here in the UK. Given that pro-Palestinian protests appear to be dominated by regressive elements that really aren't doing the Palestinian cause any favours, I think at the present time, with the toxic atmosphere, us and our co-malcontents should steer clear of these demonstrations. Our main enemy is our own feudal capitalist system always was and always will be. Bye.